but it's kind of refreshing to be in a quarterfinal where the New Zealand fans at least seem as concerned by uh, the prospects of Ireland winning as is true of the reverse, right? Yeah, I have to say on a personal level, I have this strange confidence in this Irish team, even though it's a really narrow margin in this game in terms of favouritism, etc. They've just earned that belief from, from people. The sense from both sides of it is a, a nervousness, but I, I agree with you. It's refreshing that New Zealand have such respect, bordering on concern of, about Ireland. Even the stuff they've said in the media last week and Foster talking about spectacles and style of game and Bowden Barrett talking about revenge. How nice to hear the, the Kiwis being the ones in, in those boots. And Ireland have got in people's heads, other teams' heads, absolutely. They're number one in the world. They've done it all over the last few years and beaten everyone in their path so far. And they've absolutely earned that position. And they themselves have come to really embrace that status and that position in world rugby. Keith Earl spoke really well about it the other day that one of Andy Farrell's jobs was actually getting the players to be confident enough, both in terms of the style of play, but also to be front runners and not just be humble and underdogs and going after teams, but actually being the ones out, out in front. And they've come to embrace that massively. They're not a complacent team. They're not a cocky team, but they are very, very confident in their abilities, very confident. And as Earl said, that's not something that Irish people actually, even beyond rugby, have readily been in, in the past and it's just palpable off, off this team they know that if they play the best rugby they can play they're as good as and better than nearly everyone else so I, I think that's a really refreshing part of this week and maybe it won't go well but I actually love the attitude that this Ireland team have they're not shying away they're not talking themselves down they're not saying oh the All Blacks are favourites because they've got World Cup history in their minds I'm absolutely certain that Ireland they know they're a better team than than the All Blacks and they carry that into to this weekend and I think it is an advantage. How certain should they be that they are a better team, Owen? And I ask that because obviously they went down and won a series in New Zealand last summer, but it is a markedly different New Zealand team now. You have different props. You've got like the introduction of Shannon Frizzell, different 10-15 combo, um, different midfield as well in that like David Avili would have started, I think, two of those tests. Like there is, uh, there are Wait. a lot of Sorry, All Quinn three? Tupaya started Sorry. two of those tests. <laughs> well, there which you go. is, I did, there's a piece on the 42 if you want to go through all those changes, Gal, just before yeah. you throw the question to Owen. Like, it's a startlingly different team. Quinn Tupaya was involved. There was lads on the bench like Aiden Ross, Tuanukuyafe, Falau Fakatava, Peter Gusso Akula, guys who are nowhere near the squad, obviously, now. Damian McKenzie wasn't involved. Bowden Barrett was 10. Richie Munger was on the bench for the three tests. It's a wildly different New Zealand team. Well, there you go. And I'd advise people <laughs> to read that piece by Murray if they want to fit themselves further throughout the week. But I guess the question is, though, why should we or why should Ireland be confident that they are better than the All Blacks when you consider how different the All Blacks are? Plus, there were uh, there was the introduction of several new coaches, including Joe Schmidt in the <clears> interim. Like, it is a different proposition, this New Zealand team. Am I not, Am I right in saying that? Yeah, 100%. I think they're probably at their lowest ebb in 2022, probably since 2007. I would imagine they were almost a ramble in terms of their the lack of structure to the game. Their kicking game was really poor. How Ireland dismantled their forward pack, um, hence the, the changing change in their coaching personnel. Um, but I think it's the consistency at which Ireland have beaten New Zealand since, since the famous win in Chicago. There, there was obviously a psychological barrier for what was it over 100 years that we just couldn't get over the line against New Zealand. And once we broke the seal, it just shows the the benefit of having that confidence, no matter who's playing for New Zealand, that that we have the uh, the firepower and the tools to be able to beat them. So I think consistency is a four out of the last seven. We've beaten them in. Um, and as I said, as Murray said, I think it's 17 wins on the bounce for Ireland. They're a hugely, hugely confident side that have great belief in the direction they're headed in, backed by Andy Farrell and the coaching staff. And and confidence can't be underestimated in professional sport. And Ireland are just in a really good position. And I would say there will be more of an element of, of doubt in the New Zealand players' minds than the Irish players' minds come kickoff on Saturday.